to an even bigger issue here. Mm -hmm. um, Kyle's diagnosis is one thing, but this is something that in the African American community, you guys need especially a lot of help with. Yes. And, and tell us why that is. Um, so when chemotherapy has failed in the treatment of blood cancers such as mm -hmm. leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple myeloma, um, the only alternative uh, for a cure is to get a bone marrow transplant. Right now, um, bone marrow transplants are being done worldwide. However, the donor pool is so low for African American Caribbean population that we're reaching out and we're trying to appeal to people worldwide to go and get tested for a bone marrow as a bone marrow donor. And to help and, and just to, to be involved, it's just it's, it's a low number. Do they are there any reasons why? Is there is there? Um, I think major the major reason is fear in the communities. Yeah. Um, people are just not aware of the process and what it entails. Most people say, "Oh, you're going to drill into my bone to get it," and we're here to just discuss that and dispel that myth. And and, and how and how easy it is to get Certainly. tested for something like this. Yes. And if we could just see, you know, how simple is it to do the first step in this process? If we could bring sure. in, I think you're going to bring in your daughter here. Yes. Yeah. So it's a one-page um, paper to okay. fill out. So you just fill that one out. One quick paper. Yeah. And with a Q-tip. Okay. Open for the camera. You're going to swab on the left cheek for about 15 seconds. Okay. And it goes in the envelope. And then we do the right cheek for another 15 seconds. And then? And in the envelope, and it's off to the lab. Very simple. Initial steps are just to try and determine what markers on, uh, are on each individual yep. that goes in the lab. It's stored in the lab up until age 61. So even if you're not called initially as a match for someone, you could be called up until age 61. Um, the second step is once you're called, um, it's simple. It's like giving blood. Yeah. The blood is removed from your arm. That's and it's done over the course of a few hours. Just that easy. Just that easy. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in. We really appreciate your time. Yes. And uh, hopefully that, that opens people's eyes because I wasn't even aware it was that simple either. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Kyle, Jackie, good luck to you. Thank okay. you. Here's how you can help Kyle and many others in his condition. Today, the Marks are hosting a bone marrow donor drive. It's happening at St. John United Methodist in Valley Stream, New York. That drive begins at 11 o'clock this morning, and we hope you do help. Erica, back to you. I hope